up everybody and welcome to another unboxing video if you guys don't know who i am i'm metalhead maniac sledge and i am a twitch streamer and i'm also a professional wrestler um you can follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash sledge 805 right here and if you're new to the channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button right there today we're going to be unboxing something i've been waiting for for so long because it has been out nowhere to be found and if you could find it they would prize gouge the living hell out of you. Like, bad. What? What the f Today we are going to unbox the TC Helicon. Helicon! Go XLR. Yeah! I got this baby right here. The Go XL, TC Helicon Go XLR audio mixer. It also does a lot of different things as well, but mostly it's an audio mixer. And we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. We're going to plug it in. We're going to have some fun with it. And again, Kelly, this is where you fast forward the video. Sir, and you better buckle up and buckle this. Ludicrous speed. Go! First thing I don't like about this thing is it's telling me to remove the plastic film and I can't get the film off. <laughs> so that's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, there it is. Plastic is off. Man, this thing is beefy, like I said. The sliders seem like they slide very, very cleanly, very, very easily. Um, I'm gonna be uh, plugging this into my Shure SM7B, which is right here. Boop. Um, right now, I'm just using a, uh, currently just using an audio interface that I got off Amazon for like 80 bucks. So this is uh, going, definitely going to be an upgrade. And I know that there's a lot of setup that has to be done with this thing. Um, but first I have to uh, plug in my computer. I'm not plugging my, first I have to turn on my computer and then we'll kind of go from there and plug it and plug it in and all that fun stuff. Uh, you got the power cable obviously right here. So this is a German company, TC Helicon, I wanna say is a German company. So they give us the power uh, adapter for America. So that's a, that should just slide right on. That should just slide right on. Just like this, boom, and now it's a, now it's American. So. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, bro, look yeah. at it. Okay, so after working so hard to try to get this thing going i finally got it going and there's a few tricks to get this thing going that nobody i guess on youtube decides to tell you all right first off you have to download the go xlr app all right that is a huge component to make this thing work to make the faders work on top of that you need to set up each fader to do what you want it to do okay you can't do it through the app you have to go into each program and do it so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so this is super easy once i figured it out it was a very 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 easy but until you figure it out it's not that easy you'll kind of pull out the pull out the rest of your hair so um you guys are going to check it out right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to go into the app right now and you got and take you guys through kind of a little tutorial with the app. All right. So this is the Go XLR app that you can download for free once you get the Go XLR. Okay. It's probably going to need a firmware update. 
So you're going to go ahead and have to update the software that is in there. Now, what's cool about this is up here at the top, right over here, I'm going to try to point right, right here. Okay. That is my go XLR exactly how I want it to be. All right. I can change the faders. I can do all of that. So if I push this fader, that's all the way down, which is this one right here. Okay. So I highlighted that one. You see how it's all the way down, right? And I go and I unmute it. Boom. It moves how I want it to move. Okay. On top of that, same with discord, right? If I want discord, say I'm on a discord call and I don't want the chat to hear my discord. I had to set that up. So I had to go inside of my medias and set each channel to what I want it to do, right? So Discord, same thing. I can go like this, boom. Same with my Spotify. If I want my Spotify to play, I just go just like that and I let it play and then the whole stream can hear it. So easy way to do this with the faders is try to identify what fader you want, what fader to do. I know that was a mouthful. Try to figure out what fader you want it to do. Okay, so my first one um, obviously is the mic. Okay, if I mute my mic, um, you can hear me actually. But if I go, and then I can go up, then you can hear me. All right, you can hear me, okay? Um, if I wanted to, uh, with the Firefox, okay. So sometimes on my stream, I like to watch like wrestling with my streamers or we watch whatever we want to watch. Right. And I want them to hear what's going on. Or if you're using like, maybe like pretzel rock as a, um, as a media source to pump in music. Right. So I went to channel two. Okay. But then you have to go into here. All right. Uh, sorry, go into sounds right here. All right, double click, right click your sounds, go into open sound settings. This is very important. Okay, this is super, super important. Once you're into sound settings, you want to go down here to advanced sound options. And you want to double click this advanced sound options. Now you have all of your sounds that you guys have. All right. Now, if I wanted, now, if I was using, um, so discord is my chat too, right on my TC helicon. Um, if I wanted, uh, I don't have, uh, Firefox up, but I'll bring Firefox up real quick. Okay. So now as you see, there's Firefox. Okay. I have it as music two. All right. So that's another thing. So that's channel two. Channel two is music two. All right. So I, that is now if I go ahead and decide to play like YouTube or something like that, now I can mute it and unmute it and they can hear it and all that. So you have to go through each one. Same with Discord. Discord was three. Okay. I had to find out which channel Discord was for my, um, for the TC Helicon uh, fader for number three. You had to find out which one that is. Right. So it is chat, obviously. So that's my chat. So that's my channel three. Um, and then if I brought up Spotify, if I open Spotify up, you'll see Spotify. Hold on real quick. If I go like this, now I have Spotify up. If I go back into my sounds, sound options. All right. Now you, oh, really? Oh, well, sometimes, okay. With Spotify, you're going to have to play something with Spotify. So um, I'm actually going to mute this so you guys don't hear it. Um, so you guys don't hear it, but I'll play it, right? I'll play something that Spotify is playing. As you can see down here, it is playing, but you guys can't hear it, um, on my stream, uh, on the stream. Okay. Now you can see Spotify music. Okay. Now I set it to game channel, game channel. That's channel four. And you could do. It, that, and this is what really threw me off was like, okay, so chat one, channel three, channel four, and then you go label them however you guys want to label them. Okay. And do it however you guys want. Hopefully that kind of, uh, explained how to set it up. Each channel is set. Let me exit out of here real quick. Okay. Each channel is a certain channel. So one is mic, two is music. 
three is voice chat, and then four is gaming. And you have to set up each window to that certain channel or it will not work. Okay. Hopefully that made some sense what I was saying. So one channel, because these come all pre pre pre-programmed channel. One is automatically going to be your mic. As you can see it in the sources right here, it says mic. Okay. Once I go down to channel two music, right? But I have it set as Firefox in my TC Helicon. So I had to go to Firefox, find music two, and then that programs that fader to be music two for me to have it as Firefox. And then I just went into the lighting and then re renamed it Firefox. You guys following me here? You guys understand what I'm saying? Um, channel three is my discord. So I had to find voice chat, set it up to chat inside of the sounds. And then now I can control discord. Same thing with channel four is my Spotify. That is, could be your gaming one. You could do, um, steam. That one could be your steam channel if you guys want, and then just set it up inside your sound and audio as game. And then under steam, that would be game two. I think it's game two or game four. Okay, you kind of understand what I'm saying? So you have to go in, in each channel and set it up. And then you can customize it however you guys want. You could customize these um, beautiful, uh, beautiful samplers, the sound bites. Those are a, a lot of fun. I've set up a couple of them, like when people want to cheer <laughs> on my chat. When something happens, people can cheer. Um, I also have, uh, <laughs> I have James Hadfield. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> on my stream as well. So you could program these faders to whatever, you uh, program these samples to whatever you want. And then you have obviously the button, which is really, really awesome. Then you have the mute. Just like that. And then you can hear me. So um, that's a little tutorial on how it works. But here's something very, very important for you guys to understand is right here is like a little floppy disk drive. So anytime you make a change, Inside your Go XLR, you want to hit this button. And then that will save. Because if you don't, it will not save. On top of that, the Go XLR right here does not turn off when you go ahead and you turn off your computer. This is another important thing. Okay? So if you go ahead, you have to put it in sleep mode. So once you're done making your changes to this, and you have it set up how you want it set up, you could... Um, Press megaphone and effects, and now my voice is on a megaphone. You can go in there and mess with all that. Um, it, it's really, really cool. But you want to make sure that you put this thing to sleep, because if you don't put this thing to sleep, then it's going to stay on. Make sure that you put this thing to sleep. So right here, you have the sleep. I've also named mine main as well, so you can't... Um, so I know which one it is. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter to you. You can name it to whatever you want. Uh, but you want to make sure you put it to sleep. So double click on, on this to make sure you go and put, put it to sleep. So that's very important. You put it to sleep and that's how you turn it off. You turn off your computer. Also, another thing that's very, very important is inside, inside your Streamlabs, your OBS or whatever you're using this thing for. Okay. Hopefully you're, you're probably using it for streaming. Okay, what's very, very important is in your mixer, you get it set up properly as well inside your mixer. Okay, this is inside your mixer, so it captures everything you want it to capture. So setting this up in your Streamlabs OBS or your OBS Studios is very, very easy, but it is super important that you guys do this as well. You have to go into, let me switch over to my OBS real quick. All right, you have to hit this little gear thing. This is your settings, okay? Once you go into your settings, you want to make sure that you go into your audio, okay? From your audio, you're going to go into your mic slash auxiliary device one. And if you've set this up right and you have the drivers on the XLR set up correctly, this thing will say broadcast stream mix TC Helicon Go XLR. That's all you need. Once you go and you click that, now the TC Helicon takes over everything from there. Your mic will come through. All that fun stuff. You want to make sure you set up your mic too. 
you want to make sure you set up your mic correct as well on the TC Helicon, depending on if you have a d- dynamic mic or whatever you're using as a microphone. Make sure you guys get that set up correctly. There's videos on YouTube to set up your mic correctly. Um, I'm not going to go through all of that to set up your mic correctly. I'm using a Shure SM7B um, with no cloud lifter, and it sounds amazing. So hopefully this video was informative to you um, on how to set up the Go XLR. The easiest way that I found to set it up, it might be a different from you. A lot of people have different styles on how to set this thing up. Uh, I know there's other videos out there on YouTube as well. I know that this is what was easy for me. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing video. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch. I go live on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, just head over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash sledge 805. And had my complete schedule over there. Also, I'm going to be doing um, more videos in the future. So hopefully you guys like that. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button beep, right there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.